How's it going, boys? It's GM, Debron Limes here. And we're back in the conference semifinals with our LA Lakers here. So we're going to go ahead and get right into this. We're going up against the Houston Rockets. Uh, I'm not sure if they do still have uh, CP3 and James Harden. I don't think they have CP3 anymore. I think they just have um, just James Harden. Uh, is there any way we can check this? Team roster, I hope. Yeah, we can check this. Okay, so let's go to the Houston Rockets, see who they have. Uh, okay, so they got James Harden only. They do have Jalil Oak for Clint Capella, so they got a good front court. Eric Gordon, P.J. Tucker, not anything special. We should be able to beat these guys, if you ask me. But then again, you never know. We beat the Mavs, and the Mavs had a pretty decent team. So we got Lonzo, we got DeMarcus. That's a really good team there. And then we have Yusuf Nurkic playing center there. Uh, Brandon Ingram as well. Reed Trent. You know, a lot of good young players that can grow. Uh, if we go to the Mavs, who we just beat. Uh, are they even there? I might have skipped them. There they are. So the Mavs had a decent team, and we were able to beat them. So I definitely think we should be able to beat uh, uh, the Houston Rockets. I mean, they only have James Harden, whereas we have uh, Lonzo and DeMarcus, so I'm looking to get a win at least. Uh, we start off with a big loss, 114-86. to 86. Uh, Next game, come on boys, let's get a dub, there we go, 104-91. to 91. Okay, third game, let's go boys. Apologies for the noise in the background, but that's alright. We win the second game, let's go, 96-90 to 90 here. Uh... So let's go get this next one. Come on, there we go. 107 to 96. And the last game, can we get this? Come on, boys. Let's push them through to the next round. Come on. Yeah, that's what I like to see. So there you go. We're in the conference finals now. Uh, probably going up against um, Golden State. I mean, really, who else would uh, really be going to the conference? Uh, finals, maybe Minnesota, they're really good as well, uh, could be, hmm, who else, no, no, hmm, and it is Minnesota, of course, uh, so I can, I'll quickly check out, uh, the Timberwolves roster, see who they have, uh, so here we go, Tim Timberwolves, there we they are, Okay, so they got a really good team. Andrew Wiggins, he's a beast. They have Isaiah Thomas in addition to Jimmy Butler and Carl Anthony Towns, who's one of the best players. So that's really good. Andrew Wiggins, Jeff Teague, that's a solid starting five. Um, they don't really have a good power forward, but after that, their bench really does drop off. Um, so, I mean, boys, try your best in this series, but I'm not asking for anything major. Uh, is there anyone we can upgrade before we go in to this um, into this series? I could upgrade Lonzo a bit. I'll try. No, he's still 92. Uh, so I'll leave him at that. And then I'll also leave Demarcus because he doesn't have that too much. Okay, come on, boys. Squeak out a lucky, a lucky win, I guess. Win, series win. We lose the first game. I mean... I feel like the simulation engine in this game is much better than in NHL 18. In NHL 18, it feels so random, especially because, like, the good teams don't really win. You know, you can have a stacked team, and they still won't win. So it's nice and refreshing to see. Well, I mean, not really for us because we don't have a better team. But I guess it is nice to see that the better teams are winning as many games as possible. So there we go. We still won 123 to 114. Uh, next game, come on boys, come on boys, keep the series alive, keep it alive, keep it alive, there we go, keep it alive, okay, come on boys, if we get into a game 7 situation, I may have to jump in here, I mean, I'm not the best player at the game myself, but we don't, that's okay boys, you know what, after 43 and 39 season, 7th in the West, we jumped up and made the conference finals, that's really good, so you know what? I'll go ahead and take that. I'm not complaining about that. Uh, if we advance further. Uh, so who is in the NBA Finals? I think it is the Bucks going up against the Timberwolves. If I'm not mistaken, we'll see now. It'll 
pop up on the screen and tell us what's going on in the NBA. Uh, continuing on, continuing on, simulating to the draft. Let's see what happens here. And it seems the Bucks have won it, I think. Yeah, I think the Bucks won it. Well done to them. Giannis with his first uh, championship. Good for him. Uh, I'll quickly check out the Bucks roster just so we can see what they're rocking, you know, how good they are. Um, so the Bucks, the Milwaukee Bucks, they got Jabari, Giannis, not an amazing team, but still a pretty good team. They got Brogdon, Malik Monk, I guess a young team as well. Good for them though. Well done Giannis, already one of the best players in the NBA. Just got a lot better, a lot, 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 lot better. So we got the 27th overall pick, I mean, really nothing special, but... I think we figured out how to really draft now in this game. Uh, we're on the clock. We could use a good power forward. We could use a good shooting guard. I think shooting guard is more important for us right now. I'll go ahead and sort um, by these categories. See if there's anyone really good that jumps out. That guy's got an A there. Uh, this guy, Drew Sam, he's got a lot of A's. That's pretty good. Athleticism, there's a couple A pluses. Again, it's this Drew Sam who's like the best in everything. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get Drew Sam, and then we'll get a, a shooting guard with the next second round pick, because we can still get good players like we did with Reed Trent, I think it was, we got him pretty late, so there's, all, there's a lot of good players waiting for us, so let's go to shooting guard, because we drafted a power forward, I'm pretty sure, so I think we're okay for, on, oh wow. Okay, maybe not the best players. There's a guy with B. Oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man. This guy's B's. Uh, I might have to draft him out of necessity. These guys are very similar, but this guy's got a bit better playmaking and defense. I'll take him. Still not a terrible pick. I'll take that. And if we advance to the end of the draft. Um, yep. Any moment now. There we go. Okay, let's check out how the players we drafted, how good they are. Marquise Kaiser there, 83 overall, that's really good. Ooh, I wish, that'd be nice to get that 80 overall. Uh, any good late round steals, there you go. Uh, the Pacers got one. So did the San Antonio Spurs. Oh, they got a good one. Oh, 19 years old, 73 overall, that's pretty good. Apparently he's Tavadis Golson. Uh, he's apparently from Lithuania, which... All right, that to, that kind of doesn't make sense, but all right. Drew Sam, there he is, 77 overall. Great, good pick for us. Uh, if we go to the second round, uh, any good, good players? No, nothing jumps out. There you go, Ali Trap. That's a sick name. 77 overall there, and that shooting guard, he's 64. So that was a terrible pick, but whatever. Not that we we needed really. A, we needed a shooting guard. I guess I should have just gone him. Got a better player, but I'm not complaining, really. My boy Lonzo here, he needs a deal. He's definitely getting one. I'm going to decline and negotiate. I want to I wanna just re-sign him to a normal deal because he is so good. I mean, I, I, I want to keep him as much as I can. Uh, yeah, please accept. Yeah, okay, we got Lonzo back. Lonzo's a core part of this team everyone else I think here we're fine on maybe Josh Hart as a backup I'm fine on re-signing him for a year don't mind about I don't mind that really he accepts Seth Curry Quincy Pondexter we're gonna leave those guys same with Malcolm Tan for now uh, and we're gonna go ahead and just go straight up to the uh, straight up to the re-sign phase uh, sorry for the noise earlier in the episode didn't mean for that, but that's all right. No matter. Uh, so there you go. So let's continue on, boys. Okay. Free agent offers. Let's see who we got in free agency. Let's make a splash here. There we go. Yeah, boys. Yeah, boys. Yeah, boys. That's what I want to see. You know who we're going after. You know. You already know. 
We're trying to get as many good players as we can. Boy, come on, man. Come on, AD. Come on, AD. Ah, oh, we're second. Okay, okay. Uh, I say we make an offer to Dwayne Wade as well. Like, we got to offer to some of these guys. Jalen Brown there. Ooh, interesting, interesting, interesting. How about shooting guards? What do we got here? Donovan Mitchell. This guy doesn't seem too bad. He's actually pretty young. I'm going to go ahead and try and sign him. Uh, he's got a nice... Yeah, he's got a nice picture there in a random generic shirt. How about this Karis Levert guy? Does he have the same type of picture? No. Okay. Yeah, so I'm okay with that. I haven't signed anyone. Hopefully we get both players, AD and Donovan Mitchell. If we don't get AD, I mean, it's not the end of the world. I think Donovan Mitchell just went some, somewhere else. Again... We need a shooting guard for for the cheap. We might just have to get Seth Curry again. Okay, let's check. Please tell me about it, Anthony Davis. Is he still there? I hope I hope he is, or we just get him. There we go. We're first. That's nice. That's really good. Uh, I might just get Jalen. Uh, it might just be worth it to get um. Uh, what should we call it? Just one of these guys. How about Karis Levert? Six seven, six point two five mil. I'm fine with that. He can grow. Let's see. Okay, come on. We can get AD. If we get AD, that's going to be huge. This going to be this team is going to be ridiculously good. Come on, come on, come on. Give me AD. Give me AD. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on. Come on, come on. And did we get him? Did we get him? Don't let another weak boy. Oh my gosh. We're still first though. Did I get that other guy, Karis Levert? No. Apparently we're second to him. Well, but I don't know what you're seeing. We might just have to get like Tyus Jones. But I really want to play Lonzo at the five. Like, or not the five, at the one. Like Lonzo's really good there. Yeah, you know, averaging so many points. Like so many assists. Like leads the league in assists every year. That guy's got to stay there. Okay, so we didn't get Karis. Did we get finally AD? Please tell me we got him. Boy, just make... Yeah, there you go. Anthony Davis signs a huge contract with the Lakers. Yes, you heard that right. The Lakers. We'll get... I uh, guess we'll just get Courtney Lee for a year. Just whatever, a one-year quick deal. Uh, if we want to keep him, we'll keep him. Probably won't. But this is just kind of... So we have a player. We can get Ben Macklemore too. But he's... Nah, I'll take a pass on him. How about league signings? Donovan Mitchell. He went to the Cavs. Wow, he went to the Cavs. Really? 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 Wow. Well, okay. But, I mean, this team is unbelievable now. Like, really good. Like, stupidly good. We got two really good players in Reed Trent and... um his other name uh brandon ingram you know they're both coming up still lonzo this guy's a beast uh let me check you guys don't have too much i guess we could improve reed trent a bit uh yeah he's definitely good at playing the four how tall is he does it say yeah he's six six so that'd be a good all right he's good at playing two i think i am man i'm i'm mixing up my basketball jargon here i'm sorry uh, on ball defense, you gotta get that up, buddy. He's still in 78, but that's okay. I'm fine with that. But this team is gonna be really good now. I cannot wait. Boys, I'm looking, I'm looking forward already to the next season. We just made a huge signing in Anthony Davis. Our young guys are coming up now. I mean, Brendan Ingram's been with the team for, I think, a couple of years now. But really, Reed Trent... He's finally improving. We have the other small forward uh, who we just drafted. I totally just forgot his name. But we can play him at this, uh, as a sixth man. And here we are at the beginning of the season. Let's get this ting started. So there you go. We got a 91, 95, 79, uh, 78, and a 90, 76, and a 92. Uh, I'm going to switch out Courtney Lee. 
with Reed Trent. Uh, we also have Yusuf Nurkic, so that's nice. Uh, press the wrong button there. My bad. Yeah, so Courtney Lee, come out for Reed Trent. Uh, Yusuf Nurkic is going to be our sixth man. These two guys, Drew Sam, I want them playing ahead of Courtney Lee to get a bit of uh, experience. And then, yeah, I like Kuzma. Courtney Lee, come down. Kuzma, go in there. Actually, no, no, no. We need Courtney Lee. We need some guards up there. We don't have any uh, like good point guards to back up. So, Lonzo is going to be playing a lot. Uh, you're playing out of position, but that's okay. Can I like go in and edit you to be a shooting guard? Is that possible? I don't think so. Hey, he was all rookie second team. Nice. Okay, my boy Rito. You got to play big for me, bud. Do they go down a bit in overall if they're played out of position? No, nope, it doesn't seem like they do. Maybe they do in whatever. But maybe they do in, in the game, but I think we're okay. So let's go ahead and simulate, as usual, to January 1st. See how we're doing. And assess the franchise from there, basically. All right. Simulating to week two. Week three. Let's keep her going. Come on. We got a really good team this year. DeMarcus Cousins. Um, who else? Um, Anthony Davis. Lonzo Ball. I mean, this is a really, really good team with decent role players. If we could make we get 190 or 80, like, this is, like, this is Golden State Warrior, like, big four level, you know, like, if we can get, like, four really good players, like, that are over 90s, like, good, look at us, we're 20 and 13, boys, we're beasting, and feasting, that's what I like to see, Lonzo, just dish it down to the front court, that's all you gotta do, uh, apparently, he might be injured, no, oh, don't tell me Alonzo's injured, don't tell me, no, where's Alonzo, where the heck is Alonzo? Why is he not playing? That's my question. That is my question. Why the heck is Lonzo Ball not playing? Well, what the heck are you doing down there, bud? Get in there. Hmm. Interesting. You some newer catch. You should probably. Now nah, he's injured now. I think he's injured. Yeah, he's definitely injured. Okay, well, Shane Larkin's there, but I really want Lonzo Ball to play instead. You should be getting uh, more minutes. Take, you know, take minutes from these guys. Unfortunately, it sucks, but I mean, come on, it's Lonzo Ball. We're not going to have him not play. He should be playing quite a bit. There you go. They get him in there. He's much taller as well, too. Uh, let's check out the player stats. So we're doing better than the Warriors there. That's cool. Take that, Warriors fans. Um... So points per game, Anthony Davis, Lonzo, DeMarcus, they're all doing really well. Uh, if we go to rebounds, oh, apparently I lost connection to the EA service. That's fine. Uh, Lonzo actually leading an assist. Marcus, 6.8. That's pretty good, actually, for a center. 10.1 uh, rebounds for Anthony Davis. That's pretty good. Lonzo, again, leading us in turnovers, but also leading in steals. We go to the entire NBA. Leading in steals is Lonzo. That's awesome. Leading in turns turnovers isn't Lonzo, so that's really good. Assist per game, not Lonzo, actually. This Tim Frazier guy, how good is he? And he's 75. Well, he must be playing with some good players then. Um, yeah, so we've still got Lonzo up there doing really well. Rebounds per game, Rudy Gobert, as you would expect. And then, how about three-point possession? Well, apparently, John Henson's a beast at three-pointers. Uh, if we go to points per game, Giannis, again, this guy is just unbelievable. Unbelievable. Minutes per game, Jonas Valanciunas, Valanciunas is playing a ridiculous amount of game uh, minutes. Let's just say that. Uh, let's continue ahead uh, to the end of the season. Well, again, we got to simulate to one game before the end because you can't, I don't think you can, See, um, uh, you can't see player stats at the end of the season, unfortunately, which sucks. But that happens. What are you going to do? So anyways, let's get on to the end of the season. Okay. Come on, boys. Do good. 
Do well. Sorry. Do well. Do well. Do well. Okay. Week 18. All-star break. Hopefully we had a couple all-stars on our team, which, I mean, we should have. Uh, definitely we should have week 23, week 24, any moment out there. There we go. Yep, week 24, week 25, week 26. Get it to there. And there you go. Headline about Lonzo, what is it? 14 assists. Oh, man. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Okay, so it looks like we're doing pretty good. 15-30, that's a really good record. I'm... Okay with that. Maybe a bit better would have been nice, but really I'm okay with that. We're doing better than the Warriors, and that's really what matters. Uh, if we go to points per game, mostly coming from Anthony Davis. Lonzo's chipping in quite a bit as well. And rebounds, much the same story. Sis, still Lonzo up there. Turnover's the same. Lonzo dropped a bit, I think, in or steals. Yeah, he dropped a bit in steals, but overall we're doing okay. Um, we go... Uh, yeah, so Lonzo's not leading that anymore. Blocks, Miles Turner, turnovers, Zach Levine. Assists, now it's Lonzo, as it should be. And then if we go to points per game, Giannis, K KD, Russell. Zach Levine's doing really good at like 28, 29 points a game. That's crazy. He's a really good, um, you know, athletic outside kind of scorer. And then same with Miles, T or Miles Turner. He's uh, really good, I guess, interior and defensively, so that's good. Okay. Let's continue on to the end. Let's continue on to the playoffs, I guess, boys. Once again, our Lakers, we made the playoffs. Let's go, boys. I'm really happy to say that. You know, we didn't have the best couple first, like, best... Year one and two, I think we didn't do very well. But now we're starting to really pick it up now. So that's nice to see. So I'm going to go ahead and end the episode right here. Thank you guys for watching. We got a date with the Minnesota Timberwolves. As always, have yourselves a great day, and I will see you 